got to be careful crossing that line because I think it's getting a little silly now. You know, and even like, I never wanted to see Tyson and, and Jones, two legends, like real boxing legends, fight each other at that age. It's just like, you don't want to see a legend like that. Mm. And like, you, you see a, a Vander Holofield coming out wanting to fight Glenn McCorry or someone like that. And I'm just thinking, it's ruining the reputation mm. of boxing. Like, these are old guys as well, and it's dangerous for them to get in the ring. And I just think, I don't want to see that. I don't really want to see a YouTuber fight the the world's best no. fighter. Like, you know, I mean, that's pathetic. I mean, you're just paying them mo free money for nothing. Yeah. Like, they don't deserve that type of money just because they've got, you know, you, you get real fighters out there that put blood, sweat and tears into it. They're the guys that, you know, should be getting good paydays. Not these guys fighting jokes, you know, there's a YouTuber and a boxer. I respect both of them in both their own crafts like to achieve what they have in on on the youtube platform is fantastic in the boxing world amazing but for them to cross together and and have a fight i think it's it's becoming a bit of a joke true sports fans you know the the, the know that like everybody like an exciting fight is two good fighters fighting each other where no one really where it's 50 50. no yeah. one really knows who's going to win but when you get a youtuber and the world's best boxer fighting each other it's like where's it's like 100 percent to zero right yeah like why would you someone want no one wants to see that surely yeah. I, oh that's what that's my opinion my no, opinion I think you're right. might not suit everybody else's yeah. but it's just it's just what i think well, you need to keep doing